awesome. Let's try some pie. No, it's no soot, and the, the ripples are kind of nicely spaced. I mean, not perfect, but... Well, it's probably not the best setup to be doing that straight away. So we learned a couple things today. Single pulse is easier to control, and it lays down nicer, more precise. The double pulse is cooler and looks better. So we did some pipe, single pulse root on the inside, and then a double pulse cap over it. We did a couple T-joints. Uh, the pipe looks okay, the T-joints look pretty respectable, so what do you think about it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a interesting technology with that double pulse. It's, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. it was, I've, done a, I've done a bit of uh, just single pulse MIG, no double pulse before, so I, I liked it. Thanks for the opportunity. And, and double pulse, you can pick standard settings from the factory, they kind of like one size fits all, more or less, or you can pick your own settings, which what we did. And really to dial this in right, it takes more than just five minutes. I mean, there is, there is sort of an art to, to dialing this in too. Peter's driven, how many? 20? 20 hours. 20 hours from Wisconsin to make it down here in a timely manner to show us the double pulse. I think well done. And it worked out okay. Yeah. It worked great. Clay, thank you for being here. Thanks, Peter. And then you guys, don't forget to watch WellTube, subscribe, uh, on, subscribe on YouTube. You guys have a good day. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. Cheers. <laughs>